Craven Cottage is the home of one of London's Premier League participants, Fulham. Fulham are currently sat 13th in the Premier League, but once upon a time they were up in 7th place in the 2008 and 2009 season. In the following season they shot the world to reach the Europa League final, where they were unlucky to fall short with a scoreline of 2-1 against Atletico Madrid. With some of the likes of Bobby Moore, Luis Saha, Clint Dempsey and more recently Alexandra Mitrovic, Fulham have had their fair share of quality players over the years. And in today's video we are going to try and bring back success to Craven College and rebuild Fulham. Make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on this video and suggest me any other teams that you'd like to see me rebuild and subscribe if you're new around here. I appreciate the support on all the videos recently and let's get straight into this rebuild with Fulham. So the summer window has come to an end and as you can see on the screen camera was the first signing for this rebuild with Fulham. Harrison Reed went the other way to Monaco and we paid 16 million, maybe a bit too much, but I needed a new centre mid and he is who we bought. So the next player was Pat Joe from Frankfurt for 19 million. I think a new centre back because Tim Ream, 50, uh, not 53, 35 years old, is a bit too old now for us. So I've moved him out and we've loaned out a lot of players for growth. Obviously Tim Ream leaving as well. So and uh, another young lad, Parks, leaving for Werder Bremen and uh, Bobby Reed's left as well because he's getting a bit old and we've got so many right mids that are available. So I thought I'd take the money while I could. So that is going to be the transfers for season one with Fulham. Let's see what the squad's going to be looking like for the season ahead. As you can see on the screen, guys this is gonna be the starting lineup for the season Leno in goal Castagna right back Bassi and Pacho it's center back with Robinson at left back William on the left Polina camera in the two center mid roles Traore on the right hand side Pereira in the center attack and mid role and Jimenez up top obviously we've got Vinicius on the bench Harris Awobi Wilson Lukic Diop and Tete and a few reserves if we need it so we're gonna jump straight into season one and see where Fulham end up Okay, not a bad start to the rebuild. As you can see, Fulham have finished seventh. Wow, I'm actually quite surprised by that. I thought we were going to finish maybe mid-table or uh, in this bottom half of the Premier League, but Fulham have finished seventh. 38 games, 16 wins, eight draws, and 14 losses. I'm going to quickly go over and see what the player stats are looking like. So we're going to go check that and see what the stats are like. Okay, the fair share of goals here. Pereira of 13, Jimenez 11, Vinicius 10, Wilson 10, Polina 9, Willian 7. So it's kind of uh, sweet whipped a lot but oh my god William has gone down minus six so I think he's retiring at the end of the season anyway um uh Jimenez I think I'm gonna sell him because he's gone down three ratings as well so overall not a bad start uh, honestly seventh place with Fulham in the first season is really really good so we're gonna go into season two now and go straight into the summer window and hopefully buy some more players and probably sell a few players that we don't really use or need and we'll see how we get on in season two so then guys season two summer windows come to an end and Fulham have been really really busy John Jonathan David was the first player that we did sign from Lille and Andre Pere Andres Pereira went the other way in a swap deal plus 13 million. Cavalio from Liverpool was next in line to replace Pereira so it kind of worked out in a way so I'm kind of happy with that. Eling Jr was the next player we signed from Juventus for 11 million. Only 20 years old left mid seems like a promising young player. Lukic went to Real Sociedad for 16.5. Michele came in. Tete went the other way for 20 million as well and I think he'll be a really good improvement at right back and we started to loan out a lot of players once again. A lot of the young people that don't really play a wobi 8.6 million um, and babu 6 million uh castagna 12 and a half uh, a lot of loans here greenwood came in for 23.5 million maybe a controversial one but he's back in the game and we're going to use him to a full extent so that is the summer window over season two let's see how we get on in season two before we get into simming the season we're going to show you the team leno stays in goal mukele comes at right back bassi stays for Pacho robinson on the left with Eileen Jr. on the left-hand side as well. Polina and Camera, Greenwood on the right. Cavallio in behind on Jonathan David. So that is the squad. I think we're going to really do well this season. I've got a good feeling because the squad has improved massively. So we're going to jump into season two and go simulate to the end of the season and see where we finish. I think, guys, as you can see here, Fulham have finished eighth this season. I mean, we've somehow gone down the table even though we our squad seemed a bit better i mean un unfortunately the draws have killed us 18 draws across the season but unfortunately we dropped down to eighth which is not ideal but unfortunately it's just, uh, it's just one of them it's just one of them i don't know what to do to be honest we have to try and buy some more players jonathan david with a clear 
goals contribution there 18 Cavalio 8 Wilson 8 so we're going to move on into season 3 transfers I'm going to have to try and figure out some positions that I need to improve on and we'll see you guys in the next part of the video the summer window has concluded for season 3 and we've been busy Badia Shield came in for 34 million from Chelsea Malasia also came in from Man United with Anthony Robinson going the other way we sold a couple of players and we've loaned out a few players Pacho unfortunately I was really liking this guy but he wanted to leave at the end of season Season two, so I had to let him go. And then we brought in um, Taiwa instead from AC Milan for 26 minutes. So he, him and Badia Shill are going to be the two centre-backs starting for uh, Fulham. Again, just loaning out a load of youngsters that don't play for us at the moment. So I'm going to quickly go and show you the squad that we're going to line up for in season three. As you can see on the screen, guys, Leno is still in goal. I think next season is probably going to be the season when we move him on because he is 33 now, but he's still 83 rated. He's going up the ratings. Mukeli, Taiwa, Badia Shill, Malasia as the defenders. Polina and Camera in the holding mids. Greenwood out on the right. Ilung Jr. and Cavallo and Jonathan David make up the rest of the team. So, I think, hopefully, we've had a couple of additions to the squad. Strengthened it a lot. So, hopefully, this season, we can kind of creep back up the table and finish higher than 8th than we did last season. So, we're going to get into Season 3 now and see where we finish. Right, as you can see, unfortunately, Fulham have fallen down to 11th. Not what you want to see. 13 draws, 13 wins, 12 losses for Fulham. I mean, it's not ideal, is it? Let's be honest. I don't think that's very good in terms of the standings compared to the past two seasons. I want to just quickly check the FA Cup and see where we finished. <clears throat> if we did, in fact, go anywhere. So, by the looks of it... Okay, we lost in the round of round five in United in penalties which is kind of annoying and then i think carabao cup will check that as well just in case we did get anywhere i don't think we did and yeah we didn't get past i mean yeah we, we, we well that's shocking really really bad from us unfortunately so not a great season fortunately for us but we're gonna have to bounce back in season four and hopefully we can kind of climb the table i mean it's a bit frustrating i'll be honest with you but We've got the players to do it, so hopefully we can try and improve. I mean, I might have to sell some players to bring in more players, if you get what I mean. So I'm going to go into Season 4 and the transfer window now, and I'll see you guys there. Right then, guys, Season 4, Summer Transfer Window is closed, and Fulham have been busy once again. A couple of players that I've been offloading just to raise some funds, because I feel like we need to sign some big players, and Vicario was the first one that we did sign for £54 million from Spurs to replace Leno, because Leno is getting old now, and he's going down the ratings. So I thought I'd bring in a new keeper, and Ganacho. There's another one coming in at left mid for £50 million pound Diop going out and then a couple more low knees. So only a couple of signings for us and a lot of outgoings, uh, just like I said, just to build up the squad and uh, make sure certain players are playing through the season. So we're going to quickly dive into the squad that's going to be here for season four. So I'll be right back. Okay, then, guys, as you can see on the screen, this is the side that we're going to go for season four. Vicario in goal. The back four has not changed. Ganacho comes in at left mid. Obviously, he's down one rating because he's developing into a left mid. Uh, which is fine. Yeah, Illing Jr., I mean, to be fair to him, he has been really good for us, but he can actually is a bit better. So uh, the team is pretty much the same. Cavallo has gone down a rating, which is kind of annoying, but um, unfortunately, that's what can you do? So we're going to move into Season 4 and see where Fulham can finish. Okay then, guys, massive improvement from last season. Fulham have finished fifth, and that means Europa League for Fulham next season, which is really, really good to see. As you can see on the screen, 19 wins, 8 draws, 11 losses. Only a couple of points behind City in the top four race. That's kind of frustrating, but nevertheless, European football is back for Fulham, and that is really, really good to see. I want to quickly go check the player stats while we are here, just to see kind of who got the goals and who uh, played well and who didn't play well. Jonathan David again, Greenwood, uh, Polina as well, Cavallio doing well. Okay, a lot of players getting goals there so really really good improvement from last season so we are now going to go into season five and into the summer window so let's go see who we can sign for season five with fulham okay then guys as you can see on the screen guler from real madrid to fulham and cavallio has gone the other way to real madrid 32 million as well added on i think cavallio he was for some reason he was unhappy and he was going down like on the he had the red minus rating on his uh, on his thing when he was in the squad so i've got rid of him declan rice is a massive signing from from Arsenal for 54 million pounds he goes straight into the team and I'm going to show you guys the squad right now just look at this team guys absolutely insane Vicario uh, the back line has not changed I think maybe next season we might upgrade one or two of the back four 
maybe Michele because he is getting old a bit now and he's not really going up the ratings what I thought he was going to do. Anyway, Greenwood and Rice, Polina, Garnacho. I mean, Polina has gone to an 89. He's insane. Ula and David still smashing it for us up top, David. So I'm going to stick with him for another season and we'll see how he performs. So that is the start of 11. That is the team that's going to lead us through season five. So without further ado, let's jump into season five and see where we finish. Oh my god, guys, as you can see, Fulham have won the Premier League title by six points. 25 wins, five draws, and eight losses for Fulham in the Premier League. Wow, I was not expecting us to win the league that quick when, with the new signings, to be honest with you guys. I, I actually thought we were going to struggle a bit, but the Premier League is ours, and we got knocked out in the round of six by Arsenal. So what quarterfinals, I'm guessing that is, unfortunately. And then we're going to go quickly check the other competitions as well. Carroll Cup is the other one, and we were not uh, quarterfinals by Liverpool and penalties which is quite frustrating and also the Europa League we were in last season uh, this season Arsenal Dortmund to the final and then we were actually knocked out in the quarterfinals by Leipzig who got beat by Arsenal as well which is unfortunate but however nevertheless we have won the Premier League which is a really really good achievement with Fulham I really really do like this team that we are building so we're gonna go and check the stats for the players this season I'm gonna expect a lot of goals again from David he's up to an 87 35 goals Greenwood with 26 he's up to an 87 wow he's really really impressed Improved. And Ganacho with 15 has gone up to an 85. Palina as well from CDM. 90 rated now. 13 goals. Goulet on his debut season. 12 goals. 11 assists. Really nice to see. So guys, that is going to conclude season 5. What a season that is for Fulham winning the league. Now we're back in the chat. Now we're in the Champions League. We want to go and try and win the Champions League with Fulham. So we're going to roll into the summer window in season 6 and see how we get on. Right then guys. Season 6 is upon us and the transfer window has closed. And we have been busy. Boy oh boy. Look at some of these names on the list right now Gvardiol came in I sent uh, Taiwa away to PSG for 62 million plus him Gvardiol comes in Mukiele obviously I wanted to get rid of him last season like I said and Trent Alexander-Arnold has come in 60 million plus Mukiele uh, Theo Hernandez came in at left back to replace Malasia because he didn't really do like he wasn't going really like up the ratings and much so Cam Camera who obviously Rice took over from has dropped out of the team so i sent him the other way because liverpool wanted him so that is happy day so only the three signings but i think these signings really boosted the squad and i'm gonna go quickly show you the team for season five okay guys as you can see on the screen this team is actually insane vicario 88 trent 88 Guardiola 88 badia shill 84 hernandez 88 ganacho 85 Alinea 89, he's actually gone down a rating from 90. Rice 88, Greenwood 88, he's been unreal for Fulham. Hula and David make up the rest of the team. Now, this is obviously season 6, not season 5. I said in the end of the last clip that it was season 5, I meant to say season 6. So, this is the squad for season 6. Can we go on to now win the Champions League? That is the last goal of this rebuild because we've already won the Prem. It would be lovely to win the Champions League. So, we're going to simulate this season and we'll get to the end of Season 6 and see where we end up. Right then, guys, this is the end of Season 6. And we came second by a point to Man City, unfortunately. It's unlucky from Fulham. It's unlucky. We already won the league last year, but the main goal was the Champions League Community Shield. We ended up winning on penalties against Arsenal, which is obviously nice to see. FA Cup, where did we finish in the FA Cup? We got knocked out by... Blackburn Rovers 4-2 in the round of six in the quarterfinals. Wow. Okay, then Carabao Cup. Did we manage to do anything? No, by the looks of it. Got knocked down by Brighton in the round in round three. Wow. Champions League is the main one. Let's see. PSG versus Villarreal in the final. Oh, we got knocked out by PSG on a 5-1 aggregate. That is unlucky for Fulham. But I mean, it's a good season though. We're still still in the Champions League next season. The goal. Is obviously Champions League football to win the Champions League. So this is the end of season six. Let's see how we get on in season seven. We're gonna go dive straight into the transfer market. Oh my god, guys! Look at that. Haaland has joined Fulham from Man City. Jonathan David, even though he's been unbelievable for us, has gone the other way because Haaland is in. And then we also got rid of Palinia again. He's been really, really good for us this whole video. But unfortunately, he was going down the ratings. Like he he was a 90 rated, and then within that season last year, he went down to uh, like an 86, 87. So he was just declining. So I got rid of him and brought in Ricky uh, or Ricci. I don't know how you actually pronounce that name, but he comes in. Saliba was the next player to come in to play alongside Gavardio. 
who is a massive, massive signing. Then we brought in a load of free agents because uh, our squad depth is actually terrible. So, but I think when you simulate the games, it just picks the team you pick anyway. So that is the team. Haaland, can he be the one to bring us to Champions League glory? We're going to find out now in Season 7. Before we do get into the simulation of Season 7, I want to show you the squad. I mean, this squad is looking insane. Haaland now in the team. Greenwood is a 90 rated. We've got Trent at right back. Saliba, Gavardio, Hernandez, Ganacho, uh, Rice. I mean, they're both pretty much the same name there. Um, so the team is looking very, very good. So let's roll into Season 7 and see where we end up. Another title win for Fulham. Only losing two games in the whole season. 90 points. What a season that is. FA Cup. Did we manage to win it? No, unfortunately we didn't. Knocked out by Liverpool in the round of uh, well, the quarterfinals. Carabao Cup. Did we manage to win? No. Anywhere close? Not really which is surprising anyway that doesn't really matter we got knocked out my man city in round three the big one ho though is the champions league did we make it to the final yes we did napoli is who we face in the final unbelievable stuff from fulham so what i'm gonna do now is um, i'm gonna go play the final of the champions league and hopefully fulham can be crowned champions of europe in the champions league so let's dive straight into the champions league final and see if we can win glory Let's go, boys. Champions League final is upon us. This is the team we're playing against Napoli. Wow. We've got Oshiman, um, We've got Augusto, Umpicano, Rossi, Fafana's in there. Fernandez is in there. Back Yoko. He's one of the promising players in career mode, which I enjoy using. Um, and then Kraver on the left wing. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. I'm bad enough as it is pronouncing names. But that is the squad we're going to face. And this is the lineup we are using, boys. This team is insane. Vicario, Trent, Gradio, Saliba, Hernandez, Ganacho, Ricci, Rice, Greenwood, Guler, and Erling Haaland up top. So guys, we're going to jump straight into this game. Hopefully we can lift the Champions League with Fulham. Let's see how we get on. Here come Napoli now. Ball into... Oh, Fia Hernandez, that's lovely from you. Saliba into Ricci. Ganacho, oh, he's done too much there. Ganacho, but the ref has actually given a foul. Can we get the ball quickly? No. Oh, actually, we can. So, Ganacho now inside. Can he find him again? Oh, that's a poor pass. And here come Napoli straight away. Oshiman, oh, Saliba, he's been insane so far in this game. Finds Haaland now. Can he find Mason Greenwood? It's Greenwood for Fulham. Going to cut that back to Haaland. Haaland, can he square it? Let's go. It's 1-0. Guler scores the goal to make it 1-0 to Fulham in the Champions League final. What a goal. Greenwood to Haaland. Haaland to Guler. And he smacks that with the left foot into the back of the net to make it 1-0 to Fulham in this Champions League. Let's see if we can try and keep this momentum going to try and win the Champions League. Fernandez now going down the left-hand side. I'm going to cut this one back to Haaland. It's Haaland. Oh, there's not really many options here. I'm going to try and go back to Ganacho to Fernandez. He's got... Oh, no, Hernandez. Sorry, not Fernandez. Into Ganacho. Haaland's there, but we're going to play it out to Rice. Rice is going to go for the shot, and it's well wide. They come Napoli once again on this left-hand side. Trent can't get a hold of it. Crava. Gravadio again. It's an unreal bit of defending. And Greenwood once again is away down this right-hand side. I mean, not much support, but once again, Greenwood is going for it here. He cuts inside. Greenwood trying to wait for that run of Haaland. Haaland makes that run. Can he square it again? And again, it's a goal. Oh, no, it's not. What a save from Rossi. What a save. Ganacho now over this corner. Might be a bit short, that one, but we still have the effort. Gravadio. Oh, it's unlucky. Ganacho. Can he try and figure a ball out here? Greenwood's going to play it back to Saliba. Hernandez. Hernandez. Oh, what a save again by Rossi. Rossi's keeping Napoli in this game. Ganacho now whipping it in. Can we get on the end of it? Gravadio! Oh, and that's half time. It's a really positive half from Fulham. Ganacho now on the ball. Can he find Greenwood? No, but oh, Guler was in. If only he could make that tackle, which is unfortunate. But here come Napoli. Just early doors in this half. Saliba trying to get this ball back. Unfortunately, he can't. It's taken but it's blocked by Gradio. good save by the keeper blocked again by Gradio, and it's a great save for Cario again oh my god what is going on oh my god and we finally clear it can we go on a counter attack of our own Ganacho into Guler it's Haaland now and he's been tackled Haaland now picks up the loose ball can we try and find someone inside Ganacho can he slide in Ricci it's Ricci 
He's going to square this one to Greenwood. No, it's not. Oh, who is that? Oh, my God. Goulet. I thought it was Greenwood. So he's put it wide. Here come Napoli with about six or so minutes left of the game. It's Gusto right back against Theo Hernandez. Keeper. Oh, he's missed it. Vicario, no. Oh, Vicario's had a stinker. What is he doing? Oh, he's had a great game. And Osherman heads it before the keeper gets there to make it 1-1 in the 85th minute. Gusto with the delivery. Vicario, oh, he's missed the ball. And osherman has got there ahead of him. It's now 1-1. Osherman now on the ball. It's Osherman into the box. Craver, he squares it. Lasso to Osherman. It's Osherman. Oh my god, it's wide. It's a great save from Vicario. The last minute of the normal 90. We might be going to extra time unless Napoli can pull something off here. Theo Hernandez clears. And Greenwood's. Oh, we would have been one on one. But it's going to extra time, guys. Wow, this is an unreal Champions League final. I can't believe it. Anyway, we're going to jump into extra time now. And hopefully, Fulham can get the Champions League trophy. Come. Napoli. Inside the box. Squares it. Can he get the shot away? Vicario with an unreal save again. Making up for that goal they did score. They're going to play it short or cross this? I'm not too sure. They're playing it short. Bailey. It's a great tackle from Greenwood. Another corner for Napoli. Most likely play it short once again. And they are. Is he going to go? Oh, he's inside the box. Good defending from Theo Hernandez. It's still alive here for Napoli. Ball's played through. And it's saved again from Vicario. Wow, the pressure from Napoli right now is insane, guys. We need to just try and get this ball out. He's going to whip it in this time. Keeper's going to claim that. Oh, wow. Vicario again a bit dodgy with that one. But we've managed to get the ball. Theo Hernandez can clear. And Greenwood can come away with it. But there's not really many options ahead of him. So I'm actually just going to keep this ball. Granacho's made a great run. It's Ganacho. I need Haaland to come across here. I'm going to go inside. Haaland's made that run. It's Erling Haaland. Haaland. Oh, it's a great save from Rossi. Haaland now on the ball. Haaland's running at the defence. Need to find someone. Guler. Can he find Greenwood? It's Mason Greenwood for Fulham. It's Greenwood. Greenwood. Yes. Mason Greenwood with the goal for Fulham in the second half of extra time to make it 2-1. Let's go, boys. 2-1 to Fulham. It's Mason Greenwood. He's banged it. I've, he was a bit unlucky with the first instant, and the defenders absolutely had a stinker there. But it's 2-1 to Fulham. Oh, wow. Straight from the kickoff here. The ball's whipped in. Hernandez should get there. Oh, no. Okay, we've still got the ball. Oh, that's gifted to, the, to Napoli. Can we keep this ball? Oh, Saliba. He's been brilliant all game. I'm just going to keep the ball now. And I'll take that all day of the week. Five minutes left of this game. Theo Hernandez now to Saliba. I'm going to play that to Ganacho. Can we try and work something here? Let's go backwards. Play it inside. Richie, can he switch the play to Trent? Alexander-Arnold. Can he play it down to Greenwood? Oh, wow. This is lovely football. Inside. Can he play it again? Oh, no. We could get caught out here. Bailey now. Trent's going to have to do a bit of defending here. Oh, wow. Bailey. Just lovely dribbling from him. But... One additional minute. This is literally smash or grab for Napoli now. Last chance, Saloon. It's inside the box. It's the Celso. Oh, what a bit different from Saliba. What is Saliba doing? Saliba again. Just clear the ball. Oh my God, what a good action for that. Yes! We've done it, guys. Fulham have won the Champions League. Wow, we made that difficult for ourselves. 2-1 in the extra time. Greenwood in the 111th minute. Gets the goal. And wow, what a Champions League final that was, guys. Absolutely buzzing. We finally won the Champions League. And that puts an end to the season with the Premier League title and the Champions League. We're going to watch Fulham lift the Champions League trophy. And I'm absolutely buzzing. This team was insane, guys. Um, obviously, Greenwood was one of the standout players for us who came in quite early. Harland, another one. Obviously, he's just uh, insane in the game. Shout out to Jonathan David and Paulinho. Those two were here pretty much the whole time, apart from the last couple of seasons. So, Fio Hernandez will be the player to lift the Champions League trophy for Fulham FC. 
And there you go, guys. Fulham have lifted the Champions League trophy. And this is the end of the rebuild. I really hope you enjoyed this video because I absolutely loved filming and editing this video because this team was insane. Make sure to leave a like on this video and comment your thoughts and opinions on this rebuild and make sure to give me some team suggestions for the next rebuild I do. And subscribe if you're new around here. I would really appreciate that, guys. And there we have it. Fulham have won the Champions League, the Premier League, and it's just insane. Fio Hernandez lifts the trophy and the team celebrates. And this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace.